Have you ever heard about Havaianas before? How about knowing a little of Havaianas history? Did you know that the company was the creator of the flip-flops we wear today? In today's video, you learn about the history of the Havaianas company and how it has become internationally recognized. The first pair of Havaianas was created in 1962. The design of the legitimate Havaianas flip-flops was inspired by a typical Japanese sandal known as Zuri. Shoes formed by a thin sole of rice straw and stripes of fabric. The Hawaiian name was borrowed from the American capital, Hawaii. In 1962, the Alpargatas company used rubber as a raw material and adapted the Japanese sandals to the Brazilian market. The shape of the rice grain was used for the texture of the insole and refers to its inspiration. In 1964, just two years after its creation, Practically all workers in Brazil were Havaianas. The salesmen used to travel taking the Havaianas to cities across the country, usually in vans. They parked their vans and everyone rushed to buy their pair of Havaianas, which were sold in simple plastic bags. At this time, Havaianas became systematically associated with low-income consumers, as they were the only ones who bought the products. Therefore, Havaianas were designed for poor people. In 1966, it was registered that Havaianas invented the flip-flops. At the same year, Alpargatas registers the patent for the rubber flip-flops, the brand's greatest invention. A sole with a strap decorated with two parallel threads, each formed by a small phrases of interwoven dashes. Believe it or not, but in 1970, there were already those who tried to copy the Havaianas. The Havaianas then had to patent the flip-flops and launched the slogan Protect yourself from imitations. Legitimate only the Havaianas. They don't deform, they don't lose the straps, and they don't smell. Already in the early 90s, consumers themselves dictated the fashion, turning the white part of the Havaianas flip-flops downwards and leaving the colored ones upwards. In attempt to create an all-colored sandal. From this movement, the Havaianas full-colored slippers models emerged. The Havaianas top sandals in black, royal blue, purple, and pink. Initially in four colors, today the top line is available in more than 15 different colors. In 1998, the FIFA World Cup generated the launch of the best-selling Havaianas in the world, the Brazil model, to celebrate the championship that year. The Havaianas launched a model with a small Brazilian flag on the strap, which became an immediate global level success. Soon afterwards, Havaianas go beyond borders, spreading quickly around the world and began to be officially sold in Spain, Portugal, Italy, France, England, the United States, the Dominican Republic, and Japan. In 2003, the Havaianas had its participation in the largest cinema ceremony in the world, presenting the winners with a pair of flip-flops. 
after endless hours of heels and tight shoes on the red carpet, nothing better than putting on an Havaianas. In 2007, an important phase of great international expansion of the brand began. Havaianas definitely planted its flag in the United States, opened its own office in New York City. And in 2008, it was Europe's turn, which gained headquarters in Madrid. Today, the brand has offices in Portugal, France, England, Italy, Germany, and Greece. A symbol of Brazilian high spirits anywhere in the world, the Havaianas flip-flops has become an issue on the pages of major magazines and newspapers in the world and has won some of the most popular showcases on the planet. Today, the brand is present in more than 150,000 points of sale throughout Brazil, exports to more than 80 countries, and offers products that go far beyond the classic slippers. It is possible to find shoes, sandals, bags, and even sunglasses with the Havaiana symbol. Have you ever heard of the Havaiana flip-flops before this video? And also, have you ever purchased any of the company's products? I want to know your experience on the comments below. And please, I also would like to know what company you'd like me to talk about here on my channel. Once again, you all know what to do now. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video, to subscribe to my channel, and also to activate the notifications so you can keep having informative videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye!